Okay, so uh, hello guys. So I'm trying this for the first time and I'm trying to explain this code that I wrote that actually subtracts my background from the webcam. As you can see, I'm here in the middle of the screen without my background. And it's a very simple code. I'm far from being an expert on image processing. But uh, I need this code because we are going back to teaching next month and it's going to be remote classes so I want to make nice videos and uh, my plan is to present uh, the lectures with my face on the presentation with this, uh, the background subtracted like this to give uh, like a more personal feeling for the students that the professor is actually there um, so it, it, this seems nice there are, sure, there sure are better codes on the internet uh, but on Linux I couldn't find uh, any good code that does this, so I wrote my own. Um, it's in the repository. Uh, I'm going to put there a link to a paper that somebody suggested me uh, that seems to deal with this much more professionally, but the code is not ready yet. So once they finish the code, we're going to have something really amazing. So for now, let me explain how I'm doing this. So the idea is that I'm taking two pictures. Uh, so the first picture is the background, and the second second picture is the frames that come and go. And I compare both pictures, basically I subtract the initial frame, the background picture from the current frame, and then applying some filters to eliminate noise, I managed to, to, to do what you can see there. Um, so basically, uh, here's the idea, I'm going to zoom in to the code here. So there are some parameters here that you have to choose. Um, I'm not going to go through all the details. Uh, so I, I added some functionality here. You can actually put a background image instead of making the background transparent, if you like. For my purposes, I want it to be transparent, but uh, I'm keeping it here in case you want to try it. So basically, I set up the camera parameters, and this is a nice trick that I'm not sure if it is really efficient. There, there might be better ways to do this. So basically I'm using FFmpeg to create a pipe and um, I export the, my images to this pipe so I can read as a virtual webcam on OBS Studio or any other streaming service. Um, here are some parameters that I use to create a Gaussian kernel to blur the edges to make it a little bit better than the, the, the very uh, sharp edges that I get if I don't apply this Gaussian filter. So here, in the first, uh, once the code starts, it actually reads the initial frame, whatever is in the front of the camera, to use as a background. You can change this later while the code is running, but if you leave the camera uh, viewpoint before starting the code, it will already start with a nice background. So then it loops and reads the frames, and here's the first, uh, the first part of the code that is important. It takes the absolute difference between the current frame and that initial picture that, it, that we took to, recover, to, to record as the background. Then everything else is a trick to eliminate noise. Uh, so basically, the first thing we do is we apply a, a threshold. So I'm going to move here some windows so you can uh, take a look up on how it looks but actually my computer is a bit slow right now so maybe my code needs to be improved but it might be just because I have too many windows open to show you the details so uh, the initial mask is this one so this is basically the difference between the current frame and the background frame before applying any threshold and uh, well that's how it looks you see there's noise there's some uh, parts here that I this is actually part of the background that you can see here so it is a source of noise that is difficult to eliminate so basically I have to move some stuff around it's not perfect um, but after I apply the threshold you can see a little bit better no you see uh, almost everything is eliminated most of the mask already selects my face um, and then I move to this part where I apply a median blur to eliminate some punctual point noises and then this trick of eroding and dilating so the erode uh, reduces the point so basically eliminates noise and then I dilate back to get the mask back to the shape it had 
and uh, I, I dilate one more time than I wrote to make the, the mask a little bit bigger than my face and then I apply a Gaussian blur to make the edges smooth and this is how the final mask looks you see there's barely no noise um, all the noise that I cannot eliminate is basically because my background is really not perfect if I eliminate some stuff from the background things will get much better and the final image so here, the, here I, I, I apply the mask and I apply the chroma key or the background image if I want and the final, final image looks like this so this is how the, the, the final uh, uh, the final part of the code works so here I'm choosing to apply the fake chroma key with the green screen in the back and then I use OBS Studio to get my picture here without the background by, re by um, eliminating the green zone, the green area and that's it, it's a very simple code but it works fine as you can see it's uh, quite useful and better codes are coming ahead things that we can do to improve this is actually to do this more professionally I'm not an expert on this uh, image processing so if you do this in C, make a library um, make a better code to, be get, to make it more efficient should work fine and as I said, uh, I, I was discussing this code in a forum and uh, somebody suggested me a paper that is going to be published this year on image processing for background removal and their video seems amazing so once their code is ready it's on part of the code is already on GitHub but once it's fully ready uh, it's going to be a nice open source code to, to do this more professionally and we're going to get something that I expect to be quite nice Okay, thank everybody, I uh, hope you enjoyed the code.